a huge fireball crashed into the Atlantic earlier this month, and went almost unseen. The event took place on February 6 at 1400 hours UTC when a meteor exploded in the air 620 miles, 1000 kilometers, off the coast of Brazil. It released energy equivalent to 13,000 tons of TNT, which is the same as the energy used in the first atomic weapon that leveled Hiroshima in 1945. This was the largest event of its type since the February 2013 fireball that exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, leaving more than 1,600 people injured. That fireball measured 18 meters across and screamed into Earth's atmosphere at 41,600 miles per hour. Much of the debris landed in a local lake called Chibarkul. The Chelyabinsk fireball had 500,000 tons of TNT energy, 40 times more than the latest impact, according to Phil Plate. As impacts go, this was pretty small, Plate writes in an in-depth report in his Slate blog. After all, you didn't even hear about until weeks after it occurred. Had it happened over a populated area it, would have rattled some windows and probably terrified a lot of people, but I don't think it would have done any real damage. Ron Bailka, who works for NASA, first tweeted the event after it appeared on the space agency's near-Earth object fireball page. Plate estimates that, given the explosive energy of the most recent fireball, it was likely to be around 5 to 7 meters wide. It is unlikely that anyone saw it, but it was probably picked up by the military, who record atmospheric explosions. Impacts like this happen several times per year on average, with most going unseen, Plate said. It's the much larger impacts that we should be worried about. NASA tracks around 12,992 near-Earth objects which have been discovered orbiting within our solar system close to our own orbit. It estimates around 1,607 are classified as potentially hazardous asteroids. In September, Paul Kodas, manager of NASA's Near-Earth Object Office at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, said, there is no existing evidence that an asteroid or any other celestial object is on a trajectory that will impact Earth. In fact, not a single one of the known objects has any credible chance of hitting our planet over the next century. One such asteroid is 2013 TX-68, which poses no threat to Earth, but could get very close to the surface, according to the space agency although it adds there is a very slim chance of this happening. The 100 feet wide asteroid, first spotted when it flew by Earth two years ago, will make its return on March 5 and this time it could get incredibly close. The whale-sized space rock may skim past Earth at just 11,000 miles, 17,000 kilometers, which is around 21 times closer to Earth than the Moon. But NASA admits this estimate may be widely inaccurate, and the asteroid may also pass Earth as far out as 9 million miles, 14 million km. The variation in possible closest approach distances is due to the wide range of possible trajectories for this object, since it was tracked for only a short time after discovery, NASA explained. Scientists have identified an extremely remote chance that this small asteroid could impact on September 28, 2017, with odds of no more than 1 in 250 million. Flybys in 2046 and 2097 have an even lower probability of impact. The possibilities of collision on any of the three future flyby dates are far too small to be of any real concern, said Paul Kodas, manager of NIOS. I fully expect any future observations to reduce the probability even more. Asteroid 2013 TX-68 is estimated to be about 100 feet, 30 meters, in diameter. If an asteroid the size of 2013 TX-68 were to enter Earth's atmosphere, it would likely produce an air burst with about twice the energy of the Chelyabinsk event.